Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm doing a little bit of journaling in my A5 Hobonichi Cousin Avec. This is my creative journal, memory keeper um, that I'm using right now and I really enjoy it. So if you're new here, please stick around, get out something that you enjoy working on, your planner, your journal, and let's just relax and be creative for a little while. <music> My journaling is very much all over the place in this um, in this session, so you're gonna have to stick with me. Focus, people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So for let's see, this was the 19th Tuesday, and I took one of my Eco Lime brush pens, and I just wrote Tuesday. Um, because obviously I was going to journal about Tuesday, and then I remembered that I wanted to journal about a few things that happened on Monday that I didn't journal about because I had finished before I had, you know, done those things. What? Ugh. Okay, so I'd finished my journaling before those things happened on Monday and they were funny and so I wanted to capture them. So I just decided to do that on Tuesday. Um, so anyways, um, I used some of my Totoro sticker flakes, um, one that is kind of like, like, ta-da, like saying at the start, and then um, a little washi strip that said, for you, for you, and then another Totoro that's like sleeping on his flat on his back at the, at the bottom of the page. And this entire spread is dedicated to my kids who built my husband and I an obstacle course on Monday afternoon. So... Um, they had the brilliant idea to make our basement into an obstacle course that we would both go through and then we would see who could get the best time on the obstacle course. Well, this was a fantastic idea until I realized that I'm 37 and my body is old and it hurts. <laughs> so first you had to jump on the coffee table and then use the pillows <clears throat> from the couch to travel to the trampoline without touching the floor kind of like a floor is lava sort of situation and then you jump on the trampoline and then do some sort of trick move um, a somersault a, a like fancy jump something from the trampoline onto the guest bed that's down there the guest bed back onto the trampoline and then use your cushions to travel again to the dartboard in which you need to throw a dart and make it within the inner circle after you make it within that then you climb on two chairs and then get to the nerf uh bow and arrow and use the nerf bow and arrow to shoot an arrow and knock down a pyramid of multicolored cups that they had set up on the ping pong table after you do that, you need to bounce the ping pong table or bounce ping pong ball on the paddle five times and then replicate two drawings that they had drawn. So Addie's signature fat unicorn and then Henry, um, Harry Pickle, <laughs> like Harry Potter, but Harry Pickle, he kept calling it the pickle who lived. All right. So you had to draw those. And then the finish was two somersaults to the end where there was a whiteboard with your prize written on it. And Addie came in and she wrote the prize down on here for me in my journal. It said, prize, free hugs and pictures for your journal and free kisses. So I wanted to capture this amazing uh, obstacle course because we had a lot of fun. And I realized that I can't do somersaults because I will hurt myself. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> I hurt my neck and it really, really sucked. <laughs> I did one somersault and I was like, oh, uh, I'm done. <laughs> my neck. So apparently I didn't tuck properly, apparently. Um, so yeah, that's what this spread is all about. And... Then I realized I had no room to journal for what hap actually happened on Tuesday. So I stuck in a card that says, keep your eyes on the, s on the stars and your feet on the ground. Um, and then I put a little sticker that says, or you will hurt yourself. So a little reminder to myself that I need to keep my feet on the ground. Um, and then I loved those little, um, like, 
the fox and the rabbit, they looked like little medals. <laughs> so, of course, Michael got the fastest time. Of course he did. Of course. Um, so I just journaled about that, and then I put our little times in boxes, and I thought that was really funny. So I thought that was cute, and I enjoyed it. <clears throat> and then, let's see, um, have you even seen that yet? Have I even gotten that out? I thought I did. I stuck more stickers in from my, uh, journaling, um, my bag of journaling stickers that I've got there. Oh yeah, there's the card. And then I, uh, this is where I put the little, um, boxes for the times because he took a minute and 36 seconds and I took two minutes and 40 seconds because the Nerf arrow does not aim properly. And so I kept missing, <laughs> but at any rate, fun was had by all and, um, my neck was broken. So that was not fun. So I continued to journal about that on the back of that card and then um, I changed the date and the day that was on the top of that sheet to reflect that it was still journaling for Monday the 18th. That's what I love about those date stickers and days of the week. Um, and then on the back of the card, I made that Tuesday. So I kind of tip it in next to the word Tuesday that I hand lettered so that there's journaling for that right there. And then when you flip it over, it's still journaling about the obstacle course in Monday. It's, it's a little intense. I, I get it that it's a little involved. Um, <laughs> but at least everything's in included. <laughs> um, because on Tuesday I had to go to work and try and do my job with my neck really, really, really hurting. <laughs> uh, which was not fun. But we got through it. I'm just journaling with my um, vintage Sarasa, vintage color Sarasa pens. And then since my Wednesday was taken up, I needed to make another tip in. <laughs> um, and this one I thought was perfect because it was like um, cakes and cookies and stuff like that. And it was my mom's birthday. So I put in a little number 20 and then one of the um, days of the week washi strips I put in Wednesday and I journaled about how I went over to my parents house and we had our garage cocktails again where I sit with a mask on one side of the garage with the garage door open and then they sit like 12 feet away from me and you know we just get to chat and catch up so that's what we did and it was fantastic so I put in a little, um, a little fancy cup to, uh, signify that we had cocktails and then some of those candles because it was my mom's birthday. And then I picked up some happy mail from my PO box on Wednesday, which was so fun and just made me smile. Um, and I got sent these little, um, sweet kawaii designs with the masks on and I thought, oh, they're so perfect. I love them. Uh. They made me squeal. So I put one of those in there and um, just journaled about about going over to their house for, I don't know, I was probably there like an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know. And let's see, I put in the little unicorn with the um, wine bottle. I love her. Where are those from? God, those are funny. Um, of course, one of you sent me them because you guys are super cool. Sweet South Sticker Co., so cute. So, um, yeah, that's, that was that side of the card. And then I had collage from a real simple, the, this mug that said the mother of all wisdom. I believe that's my own mother. Uh, she is full of wisdom. And, uh, and then I glued in this self-care bears into the 21st because that was from my sugar and sloth tiny party pin box and I just love it and I just needed a little self-care um reminder lately so I put in a little sticker on the uh coffee cup that said treat yourself and then I uh wrote in uh knockers up it will all get better eventually that is uh from my mom so when you're all slumped over and you're depressed and feeling glum, remember. Knockers up. It will all get better eventually. So, 
uh, if that's not wisdom, I don't know what it is. So I put in one of these You've Got This hearts um, just to kind of fill up the little blank page, um, part of my page on Wednesday. And then I turned that into a tip-in. So it's all very complicated. <laughs> and when I look back on this in 10 years, will I understand at all what was happening here? I have no idea. <laughs> but it's fun right now. And it uh, makes me happy to spend time doing it. So that makes it worth it to me. Um, and then I wrapped some washi around the edge of my paper. And I went on to today, which was... Uh, the 21st and it is Thursday and I was intent on journaling and then I just got started like throwing stuff down I had put in that self-care bears it's kind of like the description of what came in the tiny party box and I just it it reminded me that I just need to like encourage myself sometimes. So I just had a lot of fun throwing in different little encouraging quotes and stickers in here. So I used one of my very important things I must not forget, um, sticky notes from Sugar and Sloth, and I glued that in there. And then I used a bunch of stickers from that like crystals and unicorns book uh, from American Crafts. And they're all just encouraging sentiments. Dream big little unicorn. You are amazing. Um, I think I put in one that said, you are something magical. My life is beautiful. Um, make waves. Let's see. And let's see. I put in gems and different heart stickers. Basically, this was therapeutic stickering. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically just how the act of putting in stickers just calms you down. <laughs> it's a very calming thing to do. I love stickers. What, sweetheart? Did you put Daddy's head thingy? Where did I put it? Yeah. Um, it's on the porch, I think. Where? Um, on, on the table? Out on the porch. Okay. Next to all the bubbles and stuff. Okay. Thanks. Um, my daughter was looking for the cardboard donut that she decorated today to put on Fatty's head. <laughs> to take pictures. And she made a cardboard piece of pizza to put on Skinny's head. <laughs> so quarantine needs to end now. <laughs> um, my poor cats. <laughs> They were such good sports about it. <laughs> so she was just asking where the cardboard donut was. So I'm assuming that means she's looking for Fatty to uh, torture him some more. <laughs> um, but anyways. It's okay, it's okay, Fatty. It's all right. Don't be scared. I'm just putting this donut on your head. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to listen to her try and talk him off the ledge. And she took it so personally when he didn't like it. She's like, God. Addie, I can't believe you don't like this donut. I spent so much time on it. And I was like, Addie, it's not you. Cats don't like having things around their heads. And she's like, he just didn't like my donut. So that's today. That's the last couple of days. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go put some ice on my neck. And I hope that you guys are doing okay and that your pets are not being tortured by your children and that they're learning and that you're being happy and remember knockers up.